We are celebrating Firefighter Day on Saturday, June 1st from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Cumberland Heritage Village Museum. Lieutenant Denis Charbonneau is here from the Ottawa Fire Services who has a very heavy helmet. <laughs> are they, like, that's really heavy. It is a, uh, you can adjust it for your height, for different, how deep you want it to go on your head, so there is adjustments. Let's, let's talk about the event. Cumberland Heritage Village Museum, what's going on? So we're going to have all of our specialty teams out there, so from our water rescue team, our high angle team, our hazmat team, trench rescue team. So basically it's, we're going to have everybody out there, antique trucks, where everybody can come out and try. Antique the, trucks? Antique trucks. We have our Bytown Fire Brigade will be there, with, we have a 1929 truck that's going to be there, a uh, traditional uh, hand pump where about 10 people will pump water and get mm. it flowing. Very uh, cool. Games for the kids, water ball. Now what's the, idea, what's the idea behind what you are trying to achieve by taking part in this? So basically, it's to open up the community so they can see what we do and try all the equipment we try and have any questions. Some people are shy to ask questions. Right there, there's going to be over 150 firefighters there. They can ask questions and so because on. Because I, I was saying actually to um, Denny before we started the segment that I was really surprised at how many fires there really are in Ottawa. There is. In I mean, homes. In like, homes, there is. In homes. Our fire prevention gets out there and they'll actually be out there Saturday talking about uh, carbon dioxide and uh, escape plants. That's another one. Carbon dioxide right? is a big one. Because yes. you have to have a carbon by, by not. That's right? right. Yes. One in every home? One in every home, one in every level. More the merrier. You know, okay. There's never not enough. Families, I'm sure, are going to be stopping by. And that is a perfect opportunity, I'm sure, for you to talk about, and we've all been through it, even through, I remember firefighters visiting our public school, talking about making a plan. Make a plan. Make a plan. That's the big thing you got to get out. Make a plan. Teach the kids, teach the adults how to get out. Um, if there's things in your house, if someone's in a wheelchair or so on, call the fire department, let us know, so we have a pre-plan of that address. And all those little things help really? us. Really? You guys yes. do that? Yes, we do. So that's everything that helps us if anything happens that we can get in there. We know that there's a wheelchair or able-bodied person there. Antique fire trucks, that kinda, that, that's kind of cool. How old? How so I, I believe the oldest one there is going to be a 1929. It's the Bytown Fire Brigade coming out with their vehicles. So it is an Ottawa fire truck? I don't know if it came from Ottawa. Okay. This is a Bytown Fire Brigade. They're the heritage of the fire service, so they have trucks from all over. That's very but cool. It is, yeah, it is very Okay, cool. let's go through what you've brought. So basically on uh, June 1st, kids and adults will be able to come out and try on the equipment. So that's our helmet that we wear. Um, I was saying I did do the media challenge. Uh, back years ago, uh, you're familiar with that, yep. right? Having to go through, through the, the tower, tower and the whole, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I didn't fare so well, just, <laughs> just saying. But anyway, carry on. Practice makes perfect. Uh, I'm sure. So here's the pants we wear. We have boots that are not on there because they kept falling off. So here's our pants that we wear. <gasps> Which weigh what? So basically your pants, your jacket, and your helmet, you're looking at about 50 pounds of weight. <whistles> and then from there we put on our jacket. So basically picture a big skidoo suit. Uh, it's very warm, it uh, protects us from the heat, there's all the thermal layering and so on and so forth. And you're going into fires yes. dressed like this. That's right, yes. So we want to make sure all our skin is covered. Um, we have a flasher that will go over our face. This is the mask we'll be wearing. Going into a fire? Going into a fire, that's right. So we'll have okay. this mask on here. And this is the, what we breathe when we go inside the fire, this is our compressed air. So you're carrying that on your yep, back? that's on your back and then we connect it to our mask. Yep. And basically that will be connected, you'll have your helmet on, your gloves, your flash hood, and basically what we do is it's called a buddy check and we make sure there's no exposed skin before we go into the burning building. What else is taking going on that day that people should know? So like again we're going to have a water ball for the kids, so basically the kids are going to spray a ball that is uh, hooked up to a line. So are you going to have a fire truck with the ladder, big we're extended have a ladder? ladder. Yeah, we're do you gonna... take people up there? No we don't, unfortunately for liability okay. we can't take them. Darn! <laughs> Darn! Yeah I guess so, because um, those get Charity barbecue. Um, Who's the charity? Well, the charity, the Salvation Army is actually going to be hosting the barbecue. Nice. So, so the Salvation Army call it the Ballard Truck. They come out to our fires, and whenever they're for extensive time, they help us out and they feed the firefighters on scene. There's going to be a firefighters competition? Firefighters competition, so you'll see local firefighters competing <laughs> for bragging rights. For, like, what? What are you guys going to do? So basically, they will uh, they'll come in, they'll, they'll go through an obstacle course, they'll hit a forcible entry machine, which is about a 175-pound beam that they're going to have to move five feet and finish off with a rescue Randy, 175 pound mannequin and drag him about 50 feet. So and then the public can try it out, there's going to be a little kids challenge, bucket brigade. So being a firefighter, like you've got to be in, you got to be pretty strong. Yes, yeah, it is very a uh, physical uh, job and uh, mental 
psychological job too to go through. Do you like what you do? I do. I love it. You know, being out. Are in you out like there? This, are you out there? I'm out there in the community. You know, fighting fires and talking to the people, and it's a fantastic job. Great and just just a reminder to everybody too that you guys don't just fight fires. I mean, you guys are the first responders for a lot of different medicals, car accidents, um, water rescue, yeah. uh, high angle things like that. We're we're there. Amazing. I want to thank you on behalf of everybody for what you do because uh, without you guys, I mean, you guys are the shining light of our city, so nope. I thank you so much no for that. All right, uh, Saturday, June 1st, celebrating firefighters, Cumberland Heritage Village Museum. Uh, you got to head out there, make a plan, talk over your fire plans with your firefighters on that day. Thank you so much, Denny. No problem, thank you. We will be back with more daytime right after this. Stay tuned.